Hello there, and welcome to Marketing 101. This is part three in a series on how to develop a marketing plan for your business. In the first part, we talked about some of the research that you need to do before you sit down and actually start putting pen to paper. Part two, we actually worked with a spreadsheet where we allocated funds on a monthly basis. And today I'd like to give you just a few closing tips to keep in mind when you're choosing media for your business. The first thing is, as we go down the list of media, when you're looking at radio, some things to keep in mind for radio is that it's a very good uh, medium for choosing target demographics. Think about who your customer is. What age group do they tend to fall in? Are they fe female? Are they male? And that'll help you make a good choice as far as radio buys go. The second thing is to think about whether or not your market has drive time. I happen to live in a fairly small community and my commute to work is about three minutes. So I do not have a drive time per se in this market. Therefore, it doesn't make any sense for me to buy drive time ads for the businesses that I work with because they cost more and people don't spend a lot of time sitting in their cars like they do in major markets. So it makes much more sense for me to buy rotators, to buy ads that run throughout the day. It brings my average cost per ad down lower and it lets me to buy, and allows me to buy more ads. The last thing I'd like you to think about as far as radio goes is to consider purchasing overnight ads. These are ads that will run typically <clears throat> between midnight and 6 a.m. Now you may not think that there's a lot of people listening to the radio in these time brackets, but I really think you're wrong. We have uh, people in the medical f community that work all night in hospitals, in plants, um, lots of businesses that are open late. So by purchasing these ads that run in overnights, first of all, they're very inexpensive. So again, it brings your cost per ad down lower, but you can reach these people in a very cost-effective manner. Moving on to television. I love television. I love frequency. I love to run lots of ads, as many ads as possible. So consider, again, buying rotators with television. Don't buy specific programs, but spend a lower cost per ad, get rotators that will run during all day parts. And also keep in mind um, the difference between broadcast television and cable television. Broadcast television are the channels like ABC, NBC, Fox. Those tend to run regionally. They're on lots of different cable networks. So with one buy, you can hit a lot of different areas. Cable television is much more local. You have to purchase specific communities to get the same coverage as you will with broadcast television. Now cable is typically quite a bit less expensive than broadcast television and if your business is not a regional business but more of a focus within a specific community, cable may make sense for you because it'll allow you to have again that higher frequency with a lower cost per ad. It'll allow you to target specific communities and cable is also very very good for targeting specific demographics. When you think about newspaper, remember with newspaper, the most effective campaigns are sales. People really pay attention to sales ads in newspaper. Also, newspaper tends to hit an older demographic, typically 35 plus. So if your primary customer is under 35, newspaper may not be the best place for you to be. Billboards, some things we've been seeing in billboards in the last 10 years are the advent of digital boards. I really love digital boards. Um, they're great because you can change your message very, very quickly within an hour. You can have a new message on the air. There's no production cost at all other than the actual design of your ad because it's, it's again, it's digital. Send them your digital file, they can upload it, and bam, you've got a new message up there and running right away. So a few closing thoughts. Be consistent with your message. By that I mean not only what you're saying in your ads, but also in the media you choose. The worst thing you can do is hop around, spend a couple of months on radio, a couple of months on television, then move to a couple of months in newspaper. You need to be consistent with your message. And on that note, um, don't spread your budget too thin. It's better to do a good job with a few media rather than a poor job with every media. And lastly, in, in the vein of this consistency, think about long-term buys, 13-week minimum on your media. I really recommend that you look at 12-month contracts for a couple of reasons. Again, you've got that consistency, but also it gives you more negotiating power. You're much more likely to get a better deal when you're dealing with the media when you make a 12-month contract than when you do a two-week or a two-month or a three-month contract. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment or email me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching.